Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session, we made some severe progress, severe? Wrong word, serious progress, that's more like it, through Hijiyama's story. And we got him all the way up to 85%, which probably means he's only got one thing left. However, he is now locked behind Renya. And Renya himself is, of course, locked behind literally every other person getting to 80%. So, cannot finish that one off yet. Not that we would anyway, because I, kind of, I kind of like the idea of getting everyone to nearly finished, and then finishing them all kind of in a row kind of thing. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But today, we are going to jump into Kaitaro Miura's story. I imagine he's got two bits left. After Kaitaro Miura heard Renya Goto mention Aiseki Kahara's name, he recalled a time in 1944 when he met a suspected spy. Let's see what happens. Starting off here again. Chihiro. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? <laughs> and it possesses my consciousness? It sure does. The footage he showed us... About to... Back... A... Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Mm. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? She was all grown up. <sighs> just not in her body. <laughs> Chihiro. What's happened to her? Chihiro Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro. <laughs> Even if I do bring the Sentinel back. Oh. Natsuno san. I'm not sure why. But I really want to hear her voice right now. Could she still be at school? Maybe. Let's go see. Hanging at the front gate. Are we on a different track, by the way? We're not, but we have already come to be. Okay, that's fine then. No point in trying to make sense out of. Ah, why was that lit up green again? Athletics Natsuno building. Sounds over there. Is she? <laughs> she never seems to be actually there when you want her to be. Always off time traveling. Anyone down here to chat to? Oh, hey, there she is. Hello. What do I do? What's the hurry? Miura-kun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. She. Alright. Let's split up and find him. Let's split up and look for okay. peace. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay, then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. I can't go that way. Look for BJ. Hello, Did chums. You see that flying RC thing? Uh oh. It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. North school building, huh? Didn't look like a helicopter to me. So it can fly. Behind the north building. That's where the old school building is. Back in we go. No sign of him. Oh, BJ. Oh. Sounds like rotor blades. Hey. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno sounds worried about you. Hey, Taro Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Huh? Oh, yeah? Why? 
Well, that's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyuma. <laughs> At this point, nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight a sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. Huh. So he did actually die? It wasn't just... I'm going to transfer my mind into this machine. It was he actually did die and then was recreated as an AI. So you've been using a sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Ah. I see, I see. Suddenly, I understand why you've been searching so desperately for it. Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? I'm pretty sure we found it, didn't we, last time. Like, we found its location, we just hadn't actually got to it yet. In the last Natsuno one. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? Entity that used to be Miura. Before you. Huh. Before me. I located the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the Ah, oh, so this is this is after available. we find it with that sooner. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins. You'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan, Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Oh? Shihiro's plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. What does that mean? He'll be gone soon. Oh. Morimura son. Is all going as planned? That's the first time we've seen Morimura oh, in 2188, I think. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors. Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. 
I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. Interesting. Okay, so that's confirming some stuff that we already were pretty sure about. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing a full breakdown of what exactly happened in 2188, because there's various things going on. Like, we found out through Hijiyama stuff that there was some big, like, gunfight that broke out between, like, Ogata and Hijiyama and Okino died and all that stuff. But that seems to be, like, separate from what we'd heard before about, like, Megumi's... Was it Megumi's dad? And, like, the infection and Juro going out to take Megumi in uh, and, like... There's some kind of infection that's also ravaging these colonies, potentially, but then that seems totally divorced from this gunfight stuff. So I'm curious in, when we will eventually see, like, a full breakdown of what the fuck happened in the original timeline. In, well, it's all the original timeline, I guess, but you know you know what I mean. In 2188. Cool. Right. Mystery files obtained seven and updated seven. All right. Chihiro Morimura 2188, when Kaitaro Miura asks her why they didn't create a residential district of the 2180s, Morimura explains that the decision was to start over from a time before the world took such a terrible turn. She also notes that they couldn't come to an agreement as to how far they should go back, so they ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. A former executive of Newman Inc., and a leading figure in nanotech research, she has a research lab in Sector 4, which is a colony that's still under construction. Sector 4 is the 80s, right? Miura of 2188 is the architect of the sectors, the virtual residential districts. He calls them sectors since they're structured just like the five space colonies. He's always wanted to live in an era before the war. BJ's true identity is Kaitaro Miura from the past world. Yup. There are five possible shift destinations. 2100s, 2060s, 2020s, 1980s and 1940s. In reality, they aren't traveling to the past or future, but between each sector. Good final confirmation of that, which we had already figured out, but good to have it written down in plain English. 1.2 million people live inside it. Oh boy. <laughs> sectors. In 2188, the satellite orbiting Earth had five colonies called sectors. Right, yeah, the sat so is that a picture of the satellite? there, I guess. Interesting. We hadn't, we hadn't had a good look at the satellite before. Since the residential zones that Kaitaro Miura created for Project Ark are structured similarly to the colonies, they were also called sectors. Morimura, as well as other individuals involved with Project Ark, felt that humanity should start over from a time before the nanomachine incidents. However, they couldn't come to an agreement as to how far they should go back, so they ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era, which is how the five sectors were born. Sector 1. Oh, wait, no, I guess this is... Is this up in space, actually? I kind of assumed that these domes were being built on a planet, but I guess they don't have to be. I guess they could just be up in space. Seeing as no one breaks out of them anyway. A facility that simulates years 2089 to 2109. It is already in ruins due to the kaiju attacks and toxic levels of radiation. A facility that simulates 2049 to 2069, ruins. 2009 to 29, ruins. It was used as a trial run for Operation Aegis. The self-defense system was successfully activated for one of the terminals here. 69 to 89, peaceful place where kaiju have not yet invaded. And 29 to 49, ruins. There we go. Cool, cool. So, back in. Complete Hijiyama's Destroyer of Worlds event. Yes. Which one was that? Ah, that was that one. Okay. That was... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
that was when there was more speculation about the timelines not being uh, cause and effect related, causally linked or something, was I think what Okino said. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Miura's one-off done. You're all one-off done. Uh, you might be one-off done. You're one-off done. You're not. You're cleared. You're one-off done. You're one-off done. Ah. Boom. You are probably one-off done as well. Uh, we need two more people. Which is Natsuno and Ryoko. And then Renya unlocks. Okay. Well... Given that we were just with Miura, who spent so much time with Natsuno, and we learned that he has, in fact, got the uh, the rest of his memories now, let's uh, let's go and do that thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're still my favorite, Natsuno. Oh, hey, Ryoko. Well, there's a good link to doing Ryoko next. Goto Senpai. He can also travel through time. So. Who exactly is he? I s this small puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow when I touch it? <laughs> it's scaring me. Don't don't touch the thing. Maybe maybe aliens really did put something in me. You don't want to summon that sentinel. Sup, Ryoko. Huh? You're a And you're in my locker. Student. How dare did you need something from us? From my locker specifically? <sighs> okay. It's open. Gee, I wonder who did that. <gasps> Where's BJ? <laughs> there you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's on the UFO, right? You said UFO, but... It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. Cool. Let's go to the gate. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to get my bag and then put you in it, I guess. Whoops. My bag's been open too. Rude. She must have looked in here. Very rude. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. Let's -a go. I was waiting for her head to pop out from behind that pillar, but it didn't. <laughs> but she might be stalking us from afar, who knows. Who knows? We're here. God damn it. There is an opening in sector three. We may be able to go from there. Sector three is the twenties, right? It is in twenty twenty five. Yeah. Forty years from now. Which means I'll be in my fifties. I'm having mixed feelings. <laughs> Shift to twenty twenty five. Access code approved. 
Here? Jeez, this place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Yeah. Uh, I can't go that way? Oh. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, class 2A. This picture. That's the girl I saw in the track room. Dun dun I dun. Gee, I wonder. This place is in ruins. But it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Just around the corner. Put me behind <laughs> again? We're supposed to stick together. He's just being a keen bean. Stop right oh. there. Hello. She don't know me, Senpai. Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsunomi Nami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida? Ooh. <laughs> she cares about that. You're not taking BJ. Natsuno. Don't. Out of my way. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. But also, she's being used, so it feels bad for it's her. Freezing. But bitch! Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! Maybe he's... Yeah, no, he's definitely not. <laughs> nope, never mind. Uh, is he back in here? Well, no, he won't be, but is there anything to check back in here? BJ! He's not here. Okay, let's go hunting then. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Trapped in 2025. Oh, to be continued there. Okay. Yuki Takamiya unlockable. A closed world. One update. Minami shifts to 2025 to get to the UFO, but is attacked by Ryoko there and gets left behind in the ruins, unable to find a way home. And... Now to go down the whole list, even though I'm pretty sure it just said one, so there's probably nothing else, but hey, <laughs> just gotta make sure. Nope, okie doke. So that unlocked Yuki, and then Yuki unlocks Natchan. <laughs> uh... Boop. Alright. Okay, so, 
That is definitely a good link to uh, Ryoko. Uh, seeing Shu Amiguchi somehow reminded Ryoko Shinonome of Tetsuya Ida and caused her to recall an important past event regarding Ida. Oh wait, that was... That was the first one. Huh. Right, yes. Yes, cool. Okay, so we still haven't got to this. Or that, in fact. Surveillance footage. Let's jump in and see how we go. Yes. Okay, so we are we are still in the same timeline. Okie doke. Although we're never if we, we we automatically start here, so we cannot get to this unless we find this surveillance footage and then next time it puts us back in nurse's office one, maybe. But the only the only different thing here is to reach this. Which involves exiting the hallway to the staircase and then going there. Of course, it's the last he one I checked. Die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. Right, yes. How could I... Yeah. Forget something that important. About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle in 2024. 24? You don't remember? I thought it was 64. Answer the question. 1985. Huh. Are you all... Where are you going? To the Stop third floor, apparently. Me. That's not happening. Okay, what are we doing this time then? Exit the hallway, which with the runaway option, go to the staircase. All right. Do you like sweets, senpai? Oh no. What, what you just do? Like? What do you do on your days off? I'd rather not say. Do you like sweets, senpai? Oh, Have we been no. to the cafeteria? I don't know if I've tried going running away left. Oh yeah, no, the cafeteria is the staircase. Okay, good, good, good. A posting about club. <sighs> but I took my pills. Senpai? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi, I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then... But then you have a shit familiar. memory. <laughs> this isn't right. I just took some. This isn't right. You should probably go to the nurse's office. I just came from there. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. You're really not fine. You are definitely not fine. See? Better now. <sighs> Bye. Lovely chatting. Huh. Wait, did this change? Wasn't it staircase and then something in between these two? Did the flowchart just change? Or no, was empty cafeteria the new one? I don't know. I swear this was over here. Whatever. 
So we need to not get chased by Kisaragi or take the last pill. We need to get to this, but it leads to all three of them. So let's see how this goes. I don't remember ever being in here before Gioco, but maybe I'm just forgetting. Uh, hey, Yuki. My head. Already? It hurts. Fuck me. You are unwell, Ryoko. Oh, it's empty. Oh shit. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's uh, office should have some. We just came from there, motherfucker. That girl. Shinonome. What Yuki. are you doing? What? Those black suits. They're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? <laughs> Tetsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. Uh, Mr. Ida, but why would he? You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here, in the science room? Can you remind me? The science room shift. What happened? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Yuki, Mommy why are you looking away? Here. Shit, we left him. Oh? Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Uh. But... You having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Oh my god, he's so much older than you, Ryoko. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside like nothing. Also, you could have a do over with her. Shinonome kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. Oh. <gasps> Wait, Shinonomekun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Uh oh. Did she actually? Did she actually do that? The fact that it didn't actually show it, like the screen went white as she fired, didn't actually show her shoot him, makes me think that no, but I'm curious. So, do you remember now? No, there's no way. I shot him? Yep, then you booked it out of there. Yeah, but if Yuki says we did. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... Is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. It's weird that they didn't show it then, no. if she did shoot him. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why did you do it? I saw a recording. A recording of what? No, stop. I don't want to remember. I do, I do. Show me. No more. I don't want to. Remember. There's no time. 
time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Okay, the underground facility. 2105. This is where a sort of slightly older Shu Amaguchi was working. In between young Shu and Tetsuya Ida. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay. Log 3214. And the next one is... Research on AI? So he's gonna find out what the he was data's gone. doing with Tommy, maybe? Strange. The log just ends here? Check final log. The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Uh oh. Yeah, just keep walking single file real slow like. That'll do well for you. Good thing I had my gun. Yeah, that's uh, pretty lucky, it turns out. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. Ah. Surveillance footage is what we need to get to the final, uh, the final bit of her original timeline. Up here. Surveillance footage. The research logs have been erased. I won't find anything, no matter how hard I look. Surveillance footage from when I came here last. When did you come here last? Found I'm it. struggling to remember. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. Let's find out. I feel like maybe, I don't think we've played a section as her in this time, but maybe I'm just being forgetful. I am very forgetful. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. You made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard Okay, so this is after they switched. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. What? By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we would be. What? The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Yuka, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No, absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Itakun. Tommy. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. 
I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Mm. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. When he says from that day, which day is that day? Sealed memories, okay. Man, there was a lot said at the start of that surveillance footage that I do not quite understand. <laughs> like, maybe it'll explain some more in the mystery files, but like the whole putting them into sentinels to trick the UFO into thinking they're compatibles, something, something, not sure. Shinonome discovers Ida's true feelings and motive from watching surveillance footage in the underground facility. Realising that Ida is attached only to Tommy and has no intention of saving her and the others, she finally loses her patience and ends up shooting and killing Ida. Why would it not show that? I, I, I'm very confused. A, we didn't have confirmation in the game that he'd been killed. Yuki just said she didn't know. So it's weird that the mystery file would tell us that he'd been killed. And B... It's doubly weird that if she actually did shoot and kill him, why would it not show us that in the flashback? Why did the screen just go to white before she pulled the trigger? Or as she pulled the trigger? Because, like, the fact that it doesn't show that obviously makes you think that it didn't happen the way that you expect it to. Like, that's... that's in 99% of situations, when a screen flashes to white as something important happens, it's to trick the viewer into think assuming it when things went down one way but it actually didn't and then you later find out what actually happened but this is saying that it did in fact go down the way we assumed so why not just show it then <laughs> it seems very weird to me tetsuya ida ida seeks to transplant the simulated personality of the revived kisaragi into the physical body of the current kisaragi but she rejects the idea he then realises that he should have transplanted her into the li living body of the current Kisaragi to begin with, instead of reviving her as an android first. For that reason, he aims to reset the world and begin anew. Right, yes, yeah, so. That bit I did get. So this is his entire motivation. Is that he fucked up. <laughs> sort of. Not from Tommy's point of view, because she doesn't want it to happen, but from his point of view, he fucked up by putting her in the android first. And, uh... That's his entire motivation for the loop, I guess. Having things reset. Because he wants he wants his Tommy. And not uh not he doesn't really give a shit about anything else, is is the impression. The impression that I'm getting. Are we good? Okay, so it doesn't actually give any more information on that whole putting them into sentinels to trick universal control and stuff. So hopefully we'll get more information on that. How are we not even two-thirds through the analysis yet, man? Okay, so. We can unlock her. Final one. <coughs> Lovely jubbly. And, most importantly, we can now unlock Renya. Oh. Oh, boy. 85, 85, 85, 87, 85, 85, 87, 87, 85, 87, 87. We are really near the end of this game, guys. We are really near the end of this game. I'm trying to think what I want to do, because I would really love to jump into Renya right now. However, I think by now I'll probably be doing, like, double-length parts. Uh... 
because in a in outside of game things next gen is about to release and i need to have this game finished by the 19th because i will be starting next gen games then and i don't have time to be doing like a million things at once so i would like to get this done by oh, well i'll have it finished definitely but i'd like to get this uploaded by the 19th um so i'll be doing double length parts and i this is like such a major thing Renia stuff that i don't really want to finish shit uh start it rather in the middle of a part so we will do we will finish off someone else here what was the unlock condition for destruction again Tommy's terraforming and then right, okay. And we can't do Tommy until we do shoot. So, I guess considering what we just watched as Ryoko, that's a pretty good link into Shu. Shu was shifted into a sentinel that appeared out of nowhere and ended up in outer space. When Amaguchi returned to the surface, Tetsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. Alright. Back home at the apartment. Okay. This is it. The final shoe, I believe. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Back in... So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> of course you would say it that way. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, <laughs> not gonna lie, weirdly hot. Wow. It's it's kind of strange that he's so into Yuki here. Shukun, please help me. When the entire thing that Ida's doing is because he's so in love with Tommy. Hey. He knows I'm here now. And they're like the same DNA, so you'd he's think going it would. To try to have me eliminated. You'd think it would what? end up the same, but I guess not. Also, yikes, who's he and why is he eliminating you? Wait, wait, what do you mean eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. Yes, please. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. Well, <laughs> do your best to talk quick. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Nice, cool, good to know. Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. <laughs> How nice. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. Not a clue. You and I have met many times in your dreams. We have. Are 
Are you Tommy? How would that work? I guess... I guess the person we're seeing on the TV isn't actually Miyuki Inaba. Like, it's just a program that is... It's like some AI thing that is using her face, so I guess it could be Tommy. Wait. You're not Tetsuya Ida, are you? Thinking this. <laughs> Shuku, please. We don't have much time. Please give it some more thought. I'm gonna do Tommy last. Wait, why is this still an option? You're sure you're not Tetsuya Ida? <laughs> Okay, now it's gone as an option. I, I feel like it's going to end up being Tommy, so I'm going to do Tommy last. Inaba Miyuki. Miyuki. Oh, are you Yuki-chan? No, I'm not Yuki-chan. Shukun, you really don't know? We've met in your dreams. Please think a little harder. <laughs> You're not Yuki-chan? No. I know we've met in your dreams. Many times. Well, you're Miyuki Inaba, right? Yes. Oh my god, it's actually Tommy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Please give it some more thought. And she's trapped up in the satellite, right? How would I know what your real name is? Think carefully. It'll come to you. I know it will. Well, let's see. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're you finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Damn, son. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? We can try. I can already tell this is going to be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. <laughs> I can't just run away from this. That's the spirit. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Uh... <laughs> And I shoot. Hi. Shinonome Senpai. She she knows that we grow up to be Tetsuya Ida, and so she wants to kill us as well. The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent too. I put him to sleep. 
Okay. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your Sentinel. My Sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? Not particularly. I have to go stop Ida. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Okay. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you, like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. The girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. Huh. Why? Because the sentinels can shift independently of the gate. I forget. It's oh, just I, I, I did forget. That was a uh, that was a thing. So what is he actually trying to? do with this biometric ID? Wait. Are you okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. <laughs> it's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. Found it. <laughs> it's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Activate. So I just swipe it... like this? I love that man, it's so cool. So cool. Okay, I see you. So yeah, I'm in. But for something so big, well, this 
cockpit looks like a single seater. If it shares design elements from number 14, there should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it. I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? I've set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay. Here we go. This thing better not let us down. Because it's the world after the apocalypse. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. We were in Sector 4. What you're looking at is Sector 3. Okay. So there really is more than one enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. <laughs> Yuki! Freeze! Any closer and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Oh, this is when they shift to the science room that we saw in Ryoko's previous thing. Really do try my patience. And Yuki said Shu didn't come with them. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> That's the answer. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. So this is, this is... S minutes before Tetsuya dies, right here. Miyuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow, or else he's going to erase her. I get it. So it is you after all. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> okay, that explains the different name. He placed him there on purpose. Hey, wait a sec. I'm almost finished here. Just stay quiet for a moment more. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Ha. Huh. Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah, I love her. 
You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very yeah, different people. Yeah, I really like that. That's what I was saying about how a shame. it's there the same, nothing you can do to the same genetics, this. but he fell hard for Tommy, and Shu's fallen hard for Yuki. Miyuki. It's interesting. Inaba. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Irakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! You know the... Shit. Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. You're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. But he doesn't. As will you, Shinonome kun. Yuki and Shinonome do, Come but on. Shu does not, and neither do the men in black. You know you need me. Uh, uh. Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. But she kills him in like a couple of minutes, <laughs> right? I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Ooh. Stop right there! Ho oh ho! Don't move. Damn it. Honey Gucci Kun, hurry. Right. What are we doing, sorry? You hurt Yuki chan? Honey Gucci. Uh, she no know me. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Oh my god. Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! How does Ryoko get the gun back in this situation to, this to shoot Tetsuya as soon as they officer. teleport to the science lab?
Because doesn't she pull the gun out and then kill him as soon as they, as soon as they shift back to the science lab? But she didn't have the gun. A few hours later, okay. So this goes there. Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do this. No dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan. I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Yeah. Which means it may be up to us to find our That's way back home. That's because he's dead. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing. But I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Huh? Sound about right? Come on, out of the way. <sighs> this is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Huh. Hi, guys. Minami? Amiguchi-kun? The data unit. Men in black. What? That's where you're going to end off? To the final battle? I thought they were all going to end off with the characters, like, getting in their sentinel to actually go to the final battle. Like, because Juro's won, he had that final conversation with Kyuta, said goodbye, activated his sentinel, and the final battle began. But that one's just like, leaving it right in the middle of a fucking, like, big situation. And it's just like, all right. So somehow he gets out of that and returns to Sector 4 and takes his sentinel with him and... Then the final battle starts. I find it really weird they leave it there. Seven updates. Amaguchi, who's ge genetically identical to Ida, was having Ida's memories be from between ages 16 and 26 transplanted into him by Morimura. Moreover, Ida brought the infant Amaguchi to Sector 4 and placed him into the Amaguchi family. Yes, good. Ida is genetically identical to Shu. The grown-up version of Tommy Kitaragi from Another World. Back when she used to stream her songs on the internet, Ida was a regular in her chat, going by F8. His support and encouragement pushed her to get serious about her singing. In order to evade Universal Control's surveillance, she sang on an unmonitored broadcast and managed to connect with Shuamaguchi through his TV. She had Ida install her in Sentinel number 16 as its AI. Similar to a shifter gate, the Sentinel is capable of travelling between sectors. It has a maintenance hatch like the Type 98 bipeds where one can set the shift destination. The pilot must confirm the shift in order for it to happen. The Sentinel pilots have an activation switch that's used to activate the Sentinel. Typically, the activation switch would be where the nanomachines were injected, but if additional codes have been implemented later, then that would be the new spot for the switch. 
Swiping across the activation switch causes the letters start to appear and activates the registered sentinel. It's linked with the surface through a region called the terminal. There are two terminals that have been analyzed, sector 1 and 3. Out of the two, the terminal of 3 is the only one that allows access to the mainframe. Cool. Cool. Well, there we go. That is Shu Amaguchi cleared. That is Tommy Kisaragi <laughs> unlocked. Well, well. Is Hijiyama the only one that has a lock on him at the moment? Oh no, you're locked by Yuki as well. Cool, okay, well, next time then, we will be, at long last, jumping into Renya Goto, who has been locked for so, 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 so long. I'm very curious what we're going to be finding out in Renya's story. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching. See you then.